Let's talk about the construction and a few types of applications that these could be used in. The very first thing to know that they are off the shelf ready. This means you can install them without having to do any extra machining to the latch locks themselves. They ship the same day you order them. The latch bar is a two-piece construction with different types of mounts. One thing to note, we designed a mount so that you have the ability to mount the latch bar to a thin plate. We use tubular dowels to locate the body. This, of course, is for strength and for the positioning of the body. These have been designed for a few different applications. You can use these in the following. Two-stage ejection, collapsible core or stripper plate where you don't have the space you know, on the part for the ejector pins. And they can be used to drive your ejector system instead of using hydraulic cylinders. Now let's talk about the key features and benefits of these latch locks. The first and most important thing is these easy latch lock system uses a cam. This eliminates the use of springs and friction devices, which has the tendency to fatigue and wear out over time. Because of the cam system, it is mechanically robust, reducing failure and costly downtime. These come ready for installation. There are six bolts for the complete assembly. They install on the outside of the mold. This is particularly nice for maintenance as you only need to remove two screws without disassembling the complete mold. They are two-piece construction that are horizontally fastened to avoid the problems with the traditionally mounted vertical systems currently being used. All the latch bars have a built-in delay. Depending on your design, you can adjust the delay by adjusting the bar location. Again, the nice thing about these latch locks is they can replace expensive hydraulic cylinders that you traditionally would use to drive the ejector system, like you currently do in stack tooling or reverse ejection that's mounted on the fixed side of the mold. In this slide, we are showing the latch locks in the open position. Notice the returner is at the end of the housing. The cam has been rotated in position to retain the segments within the body. During the closing phase of the mold, the latch bar pushes the cam to release the segments. During this time, the plates are locked together while moving. In this slide, we are showing a three plate control running on the A side. The image on the left shows the mold completely closed. The center image shows an open stroke where the A and B plate has separated from the top clamp plate. The image on the right shows the separation at parting line where the B plate separates from the A plate. In the next couple of slides, we'll show you how the Easy Latch drives the different types of two-stage ejector systems. Looking at the image on the left, this shows a two-plate ejector system with the bottom ejector moving last or what is called the second stage ejection. When sequencing this type of two-stage ejector system, your bottom plate pushes both plates forward using the body of the easy latch as a spacer. The body is attached to the bottom ejector or second stage, so it moves with the bottom ejector. The latch bar is in a fixed position mounted to your support plate. Now in the center picture, you'll notice that the top ejector or first stage tops out on the bottom of the support plate. This allows for the cam to release the returner so the second stage can continue to move forward. The image on the right shows a completed two-stage cycle. In this slide, we're showing the top ejector plate moving last being the second stage. It works on the same type of principle as a three-plate system that I previously shown. All I did was rotate the latch lock system 180 degrees mounting to the two-stage ejector system. Instead of the top clamp plate and the A and B plates, we're using the bottom clamp plate and both sets of ejector plates. Note, your ejector knockout system from the molding machine is attached to your second stage or your top ejector plates. In the image on the left, you'll see the ejector system in the home position. The body of the easy latch is attached to your bottom clamp plate. The returner is mounted to your bottom ejector or your first stage ejector system. 
The latch bar is mounted to the top ejector plate or your second stage ejector system. When you eject forward, both bottom and top ejector systems move, move until the returner engages the cam. At the time, the cam releases the latch bars, allowing the second stage to move forward. In this slide, we're showing how the easy latch system can be used on the fixed side of the mold in replacement of hydraulic cylinders. In this application, you mount the body to the top clamp plate. The returner is mounted to the ejector system. Notice the standard extra long latch bar. It is attached to the movable side or B plate of the mold. This gives us an extra delay allowing the mold to separate at parting line before engaging the ejector system forward, removing the part from the fixed side of the mold. Once the, re the returner engages the cam, it releases the latch bar completely to finish the mold open cycle. This slide is showing us using the easy latch for collapsible core application. This again is a three plate control. We use this scenario when you cannot use ejector pins or we need to sequence the collapse of the segments of a core first to clear the undercuts before we eject the part. Here we have the latch body is attached to the bottom plate. The latch returner is attached to the B plate and the latch bar itself is attached to the stripper plate. Note, the molding machine knockouts are tied to the stripper plate. The sequencing is as follows. The center guide of the collapsible core is stationary and it's attached to the bottom clamp plate. When the mold opens, the first sequence moves the B plate and the stripper plate together, creating an opening where the segments of the core collapses. The next segment, the returner bottoms out on the housing engaging the cam. At that time, it releases the latch bar, allowing the stripper plate to move forward and eject the part. In the next two slides, these are special applications. This requires the DME engineering team to help you with your design. Please get a hold of your salesman if you'd like to have more information. Again, this is a special application. Please get a hold of the DME engineering team if you'd like some support on your design. You can contact your salesman and they'll give you more information. Thank you. This final slide, we show there are three different series with five different latch bars to fit any application. If you need any assistance, please feel free to contact DME. Thank you for your time.